drummer for Black Tusk. And uh, you had another gig before you uh, joined Black Tusk, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> I uh, I played drums for the Spoets for a night. That was a uh, that was a fucking crazy night. I remember, there were sledgehammers, TVs. Um, this kid got tied to a fucking cross, and they stripped him down. And they like uh, we were with the murder junkies that night too. So Dino started shoving bananas up the kid's ass, and so the whole time when I'm playing drums, I'm looking at the look of just fucking terror in this guy's face. Because he doesn't know any of this shit's gonna happen. I don't think he does. Then they start whipping the shit out of him. And then the cross starts falling wobbly, and he starts doing this number right here, and then the whole fucking thing just falls back. And the dude falls right on the back on all the broken TVs. It was fucking hilarious. Definitely. I remember the look of terror on that poor kid's face when the crawl started shaking and he started realizing that motherfucker was going backwards. That was what I remember most about that show. <laughs> All year it's just been touring. I think this is the eighth one this year. Um, we're about to go on tour with Crowbar, do four weeks with them, and then February, head overseas, and go to Germany, and end up in Finland. So. That's the plan so far. This is where the infamous show took place. This place right here. This place right here. Now, if, if we were to go in and ask for a Spowitz gig at the Jinx, what do you suppose our answer would be? After last time? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I, I am sure because I've asked. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh. And maybe I could see why, <laughs> but <laughs> that was, uh, I didn't really know what the fuck I was getting into either, because uh, when you came to me and offered what was going to be happening, you kind of left some things out. It was great in the end, but uh, I definitely didn't know. Maybe that's part of the surprise. <laughs> I don't think I was fully brief. It seemed like the murder junkies were more brief than I was. <laughs> yeah, we had uh, we played Sabies with the murder junkies, and uh, Carla, who wasn't there that night, sodomized uh, Dino Sex on stage with a strap on yeah. dildo. So, I definitely can see that happening. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the dildo, too. Nice. It's, in, it's in the gig bag where it lives. He's always, every time they've come through here, he always plays naked on my drum floor. <laughs> and usually uses my drum set. Uh, I don't save that thing though, I polish it down. It gets, <laughs> it gets disinfected afterwards, you know. <laughs>